Thank you for watching my channel. Please subscribe and like. Now back to the news. Aubrey O'Day alleged disgraced rapper Sean Diddy Combs groomed and controlled her appearance while filming making the band when she was around 21 years old. The former Danity Kane songstress, now 40, got candid about the criticism she faced while working on the MTV reality series in 2005 alongside Combs, who served as an executive producer. I look at the beginning of making the band and little Aubrey auditioning, and I'm like, I don't know how I became the sexy face one, she said on a forthcoming appearance of the Chris's Queen podcast for the Daily Mail. Combs is on camera saying how much he hates it, but he's off camera telling me all the ways I needed to be groomed properly like down to my toenails, she added. O'Day alleged the I'll be missing you rapper, 54, labeled her the looker of the band, and once sent her out of the studio, because her toes weren't properly polished. She alleged grooming was a part of Combs' abuse cycle. With Diddy, I saw multiple sides of him O'Day continued in another part of the interview. But I don't know who I was even talking to that was sober, there was always an element of something going on. O'Day claimed Combs once forbid her from being friends with a certain very big-name person, whom he was also involved with. That was the first time Combs Hikinda said, you're not allowed to be around that person ever again she recalled, explaining she knew her unnamed friend's experience with the rapper. And that was the first time I started to see the dynamics change with just how he approached me on camera, the singer alleged. O'Day was a part of the Danity Kane girl group until 2008, when she allegedly got booted for not doing what was expected of her not talent-wise, but in other areas, she said on the Call Her Daddy podcast in 2022. After coming off of Diddy, there's not many people you can go into a room with and get that type of high from, she said on the Chris's Queen podcast, according to the Daily Mail. Grooming is a process, they don't just abuse you on day one O'Day said, explaining groomers usually make their victims feel comfortable before flipping a switch. It's like the military, she continued. They break you down and build you back up into the soldier they need you to be for the country they need you to be fighting for. O'Day also claimed there are way more victims of Combs that will come forward, as the sex trafficking case against the Bad Boy Records founder plays out. In April, she alleged Combs tried to buy her silence by offering her publishing rights in 2023, though she declined the deal. On September 16, Combs was arrested and charged with sex trafficking, prostitution, racketeering and fraud. He's accused of coercing women and others around him to fulfill his sexual desires and creating a criminal.